<laughs> He's very much in her house. Wife of Lincoln Park lead singer Chester Bennington and a connection one year after his suicide. I'll share this with you. I have his microphone that he's used on stage for like the last nine or ten years. It's full of his energy. You pick it up and you can feel the tingling in your hands. To Linda, their 12-year-old son Tyler, and Chester's eldest son Jamie at our studio. Tyler, too, still feels his father. And about that microphone. My kids are allowed to talk into it. I mean, they want to speak to their dad and they want to feel close to him. What do you say to him? I just kind of tell him how my day's going and then I'll ask him to come to my dreams and then my dog recently passed away so I'll ask him to bring my dog. At the request of the family we're only using the song One More Light from Linkin Park's record released a month before Chester's death on July 20th, 2017. I've been in a store before checking out and the ladies had the radio and I just was like, please turn that off. Like, I just, I can't listen to him yet. But she is speaking out. She launched 320 Changes Direction to tackle mental health and addiction head on. 320 was Chester's birthday and her strength kicked in the very day he took his life in their home. And I have the best support group ever and they, you know, got every priest and energy healer and every, clear the space and make it light and we all put air mattresses up in the room and we sl slept up there and we really just took back the space. Her campaign falls under the international effort changedirection.org with partners like Michelle Obama, Prince Harry, changing the culture of mental health. What I've come to learn in this past year is that we all have mental health just like we have physical health. If we don't take care of our mental health we will get sick. Just like if we don't take care of our physical health, we will get sick. What prompted you to be such a voice on this cause? After Chester passed, I, I couldn't sleep. I was on Twitter just scrolling and I couldn't help but notice all of the people that were reaching out to me in pain, some of them were, were saying they, were, they wanted to self-harm or even not be here anymore. And that cut me to the core. She's telling their very personal story. I didn't understand the shame that Chester had when he would come back from a therapist and the therapist would tell him he was clinically depressed or he had to be on medicine. But in her eyes, he had every reason to live. Right before he took his life, his career was at a high. He had a number one album. He was extremely close with his family. We just bought a house. I mean, it was awesome, you know? We, we had a great relationship. He was my best friend. Have you wrapped your head around the why? No, and I purposely don't try to. I feel it, it doesn't serve me well. But you know, you have to accept what happened. Acceptance turned into a call for advocacy. I wanted to change, in whatever capacity I could, the stigma surrounding what had happened and his depression, his addictions. She wanted answers for Chester's children, his three before Talinda, three with. What do you say happened? With the girls, um, I explained to them, daddy lost his life because his brain was sick. Tyler has joined Talinda in speaking out. What's your message to other kids? It's okay, like, even if you're feeling bad or, like, your day's not going great, just tell someone. Don't hide your feelings. Kind of just, like, express them however you can. If you don't feel like talking to, like, a friend or an adult, like, try to get an, a therapist or someone or someone you trust. He loved his fans so much, and he cared about what they thought. He cared about creating music that meant something to them, and he loved his family. He loved fully. He loved fully. Delinda has said she plans to spend Friday, that heartbreaking one-year anniversary, quietly with family and friends. And you know, it's so interesting to me, Dan. Yeah. The family has, by their own choice, moved to a different home now, and they stay. They still feel Chester. Mm, of course. And that Tyler says every now and then the lights do funny things like mm -hmm. they did in the last home. Yeah, he's in their heart. Yeah. Yeah. Tilinda is fiercely courageous for mm -hmm. taking on this challenge and. Yeah.